Okay, good morning, Williams Lake. This is September 28th, and I have a second class joining my awesome grade seven class. I have the French immersion teacher, Mr. O'Keefe, and his awesome kids here with us first thing this morning, which is really nice because the last two weeks we were not able to do this outside. So today is actually one of those rare days we're able to do it outside. So on three, en français or in English or whatever you choose, I want you as loud as you can to say, good morning, Williams Lake. Ready? Uno, due, tre. Good morning, William Blake. Yeah, that was just okay. I've had other uh, better classes than that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get started is learning how to breathe properly. My kids, uh, if you're a professional athlete, they will tell you that breathing is probably more important than actually staying fit. So when we breathe, we want to try to breathe in through our nose. And I know this is gonna sound silly for some of you. Some of you guys have already known that know this because you're an athlete, or one of your coaches might have taught you, or a teacher. And then you want to exhale out through your mouth. Everybody try that. Did you know that if you do that, even for 30 seconds, nice and slow, you don't have to make a big scene so the kid beside you, oh, I can hear you, you sound like an, uh, an elephant, okay? We don't want to do that. It should be expanding in your lungs. It really leaves, uh, uh, relieves a lot of stress, okay? And one of the things that kids nowadays and, and adults we is the amount of stress that we have surrounded by us, okay? So that's why I do this once a week with my kids, is I let them know that there is other things they can do at home for relaxation to relieve stress, okay? So that's rule number one when it comes to yoga, it's breathing properly. You're gonna forget, okay? But try not to do this, try not to hold your breath. Some kids, when they're, uh, they're lifting the weights and they try to hold their breath, I am guilty of it. Has anybody ever done that? Playing a sport or trying to lift something, you hold your breath, you're trying to do something, okay? It takes time to get rid of that bad habit, okay? So whatever you do, don't hold your breath. The next thing is what I like to do from the guy that I'm studying all is called muscle resistance, okay? Dynamic muscle resistance. So it looks like this. Everybody take their arms, put them out on the side like this. Take your fist and squeeze them together like that and everybody make a double bicep pose. Hard as you can. Now hold for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Harder, five. Four, three, two, one. That's hard. Imagine trying to do that for 30 seconds. You wonder how you're able to do that. That's called dynamic muscle resistance. No different when I do my yoga training is that when you are in a position, not only do you're locking this, let's just say we're stretching this way. Everybody do that. Okay, now how can I make this stretch a lot more efficient? What else can I do? What can I do, kids? What can I make this more beneficial? Anybody know? You should know if you've been doing yoga with me for a couple of days. What can I do to my body to make this simple stretch much more worthy? Does anybody know? Come on. Up. Yep, and what's that called? Why are we doing that? Uh, to, like, yep, okay, so we're creating tension. We're getting blood flow into our muscles, okay? So everybody take your fingers and open them up like this. Try to take your pinky and your thumb and separate them. So just open up. My volleyball girls have to do this all the time, okay? Tyler, you're on TV. If you're not gonna behave properly, I have to send you away and you have to walk laps, okay? So either get with the program or go walk laps. Take your choice. All right, now take your hands and put them down here like this. Now tighten your arms without locking out your elbows. I want you to tighten. That's called the diamond cutter position. Diamond cutter. Okay? Now feel your shoulders on your left arm. Feel your biceps, feel your triceps. Feel your forearm, now feel your fingers, okay? Now, with the person beside you, try to put your hands straight out towards me, okay? Make a fist and go this way like that. If you now tighten it as tight as you can, your arm. Don't let me run that arm down, okay? Okay, so that's <laughs> easy for me to bend his arm down, right? Now, Tyler, take your hand out and open your fingers as hard as you can and tighten it as hard as you can. That's not tight. Tighten that muscle. It's a little bit harder for me to do that. Now, try with the partner beside you. Start like this, and then open it up like that, and you tell me if there's a difference, because if you're not getting a difference, you ain't doing it right. Try it. That's called dynamic. Turn around and do it to another partner now. Try it with another partner. Davian's looking for somebody. Tally's looking for a partner. Keenan, behind you, Memphis. Okay, everybody back to their mats. Grade sevens, back to your mats. 
try to turn around and face me. Thank you, sir. All right, hands up if having your fist was the stronger of the two. Hands up. Yeah, you can be honest. Hands up if you saw, thought that your partners with stronger arms if their fingers were wide open. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's called dynamic muscle engagement, okay? Why can't we do that with their entire body, okay? Right. How many kids play professional, or not professional, how many kids play sports? Good, everybody you plays play. something, that's excellent, okay. Now, I've been coaching for almost 30 <coughs> years. I coached when I was in high school. I coached at this school, because this is where I graduated from. And one thing that my coaches always told me was the proper technique of training properly was more important than playing the game itself. Okay? Process equals results, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do with you guys today, all right? Is to teach that process. So, how do we tighten the rest of our body to do this? So everybody go back into a diamond cutter. Now, at the same time, I want you to take your core, that's your belly, and I want you to pull it in hard to your spine. Everybody's got a spinal cord right here? That's my spine. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it in, I'm now gonna lock this so I can do this with my tummy. Okay? There we go. Now, I'm in that lock position, my tummy's locked. What's the last part that needs to be engaged? Legs. My legs. Now, how do we lock our legs so they're super strong? What do we do, Amy? You curl your toes. Curl your toes into your mat. So everybody stand in the middle of their mats and curl their toes into the mat and tighten those leg muscles. Everybody feel their leg muscles. Okay, now, go back and feel your gut. Uh oh, I forgot to tighten my gut. Now, tighten your gut and now go feel your leg muscles. Now feel your calves. Go back and touch that gut. Uh-oh. What about these arms? They need to be engaged. So check, check, check. Everybody done that? Perfect. All right. Let's down in the diamond cutter position. Everybody, we're going to do some big inhaling and exhaling. How do we inhale? Through our nose and out through our mouth, okay? All right. Everybody do diamond cutter. Legs are nice and tight. Tummy's nice and tight. You ready, Damien? Inhale up. And exhale. If you're looking at me, notice that my fingers are not disengaging. I'm staying nice and tight. Okay, inhale up. Exhale. One more, one more. Don't forget, keep that tummy, keep those legs nice and tight. Inhale up. Exhale. Now take your hands, turn them this way, and suck your chest way up. Tighten that tummy. Tummy nice and tight. Just got the tummy nice and tight. Perfect. Now take that left hand, put it all the way down here like that. Take your right hand, go all the way up. Engage that arm, engage that hand. Don't touch the side of your thigh. Don't forget those legs need to be nice and tight. Don't forget that belly. And slowly go over to the side. And a big inhale. Do a tick tock time. Time over matter, nice and slow with our hands. All the way up to the heavens and slowly to the side. Big inhale. Exhale. And come back in here. Back up on what I call a touchdown. Everybody in a touchdown. Okay, get ready. In this touchdown, we're going to kick our knees forward. And has anybody ever gone downhill skiing before? Like a, and you ever really seen a downhill jumping skier before? We're gonna drop our knees and at the same time I'm gonna go forward with my hands and I'm gonna lift my head up like that. The further I go down, the more engaged my legs are. Okay, you should have your feet about shoulder width apart. Don't go off your toes, kids. Some kids, some people are off their toes. Look right up. Now take those arms and push them all the way back. There we go. And breathe. And count down from five. Go. Five. Louder. Three, two, one. And shoot it all the way up. <laughs> now take that touchdown pose and lean over to your left and reach as high as you can. Big inhale. Reach to the right. And come back down into a diamond cutter. Make sure you're above. Now everybody walk back to the very front, or sorry, the very back of your mat. Everybody's done this diamond cutter position. Some kids aren't. Don't get lazy on your holds, kids. All right, we're gonna reach up. 
touch down, wiggle those fingers, and slowly open your hands forward. Look forward, don't forget to tighten your tummy. You're gonna slowly go all the way down to your hands or between your feet. There we go, and touch and hold. Take your head and put it all the way down and just relax your body and hold. 10 second countdown, go. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, don't relax yet. Take your fingers and walk the dog. Walk the dog. <laughs> this so is called nice. down dog. Go all the way to the front. Slam your fingers down, open them right up. Now take your two feet, shoulder width apart, and drive them back to the mat and take your upper body and lean it backwards and hold. 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 Okay, in this position, take your right leg, keep that leg nice and tight by driving your toes to your knee. Lift that leg up as high as you can comfortably and hold, keep your head down, hold, hold, and slowly bring that foot down, and your left side, comfortably lock your legs, don't let your legs get lazy, and down slowly, and drop down to your knees, and now put your feet flat down on the mat. <sighs> Take your hands, put them on your upper part of your lap. Everybody's nice and comfortable. Perfect, how are we doing? Everybody's good? A little bit waking up now, Monday morning blues. Okay, so in this position here, we're gonna do a real heavy breathing. We're gonna hold our air in our lungs for 10 seconds. You don't need to count because you can't because you're holding your breath, okay? All right, so everybody put your hands, open them up. Get your elbows out, get ready to push up and inhale through your nose and then hold. So inhale up and now hold. And slowly, very slowly, look at how my body is slowly deflating. I'm slowly letting the air out of my mouth. And now I'm shrugging my shoulders down. My head is going down towards my lap. And now I'm going to release my hands off my lap so that my hands are just basically dangling there. No pressure, no movement on my arms. And I'm just letting my neck go down with no resistance. And I'm just going to hold now. And relax your body. Now I'm going to slowly come back up I'm going to put my hands on my lap like that. So I'm going to take that left leg and just step forward like that. I'm going to step forward like that, okay? All right, now these next ones may be a little difficult for a few kids. If you have any joint problems, again, do what you can. If you need to keep this knee down, that's totally fine. If you cannot do this one, okay? We're going to do what's called a forward lunge uh, stand, okay? At the same time, we're gonna be pushing out and coming back with our arms, okay? So the emphasis is gonna be on this beautiful leg of ours, our left leg. So everybody say, thank you for being here every day for me, okay? Now, I'm gonna work you so that you get stronger so when I'm Mr. Hurley's age, I can still go kick a soccer ball, maybe. I don't know if I can though. Okay, so with this front foot, I have a kneecap. My kneecap is gonna go up and at the same time, I'm actually going back with this leg here and I'm extending it back so that it's about shoulder width apart. There's my shoulders, there's my foot. It's almost in line with this shoulder. This shoulder is in line with this foot, okay? That makes sense? Everybody's down there? Now, how do you make this easier or harder? The higher up I am, the easier it is. The lower I am, for those that are like athletes, hockey, soccer, basketball, whatever you guys play, gymnastics, you wanna go right down like an old guy like me. That's it, there we go. Now, we are not engaged because I have my hands on my lap. Put them out here. Open those fingers up. Open those fingers up. Now, take your hands and bring them forward like this and slowly push it out. Five, four, three, two, 
One, close your fist, bring it back. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, bring it back. Everybody count together. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your hand in your lap and push up like that and say thank you left hand thank you thank you and left, left leg sorry not left hand left leg Ooh. oh that one felt great how many kids did it super duper hard went right down nice and deep yeah don't lie to me because i can actually look up and see some of you guys so good for you all right we got one more side to do don't we we got to do my favorite leg you know what because that's the leg i kick with the most what you need son same bye you have us up for the rest of the day Oh, he's going to the same. Oh, bye. Oh, no. So everything's good to go. You guys will be fine. This is so good. You ready? Yeah. You okay. all ready? Yeah. Uh, I'll text you later if you need anything. I'll check out if you want. All right. Okay. 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 Everybody step forward with that beautiful right leg of yours. Now, unless you're left legged, we just took care of your favorite leg. This is my striking leg. This is the leg that I have the most power in. When I water ski and I wakeboard, my power is on this leg. When I'm ready to jump high, my power. When I skate, that's where my power. Get out with that leg. All right, now, shoulder width apart. Are we ready, Colton? Going down. Dig deep. Dig deep. Now feel that right leg. Feel those muscles in that leg and say thank you. Perfect. Put your hands out like this. Oh, yeah. Everybody say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Louder. Oh, yeah. Okay, take your hands. Put them in like this. Keep those elbows up. Don't get lazy. Pushing it out. Count. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it back. Five. Four. Three. One out of bed. Push it out. Louder. Three. Two. One. Last one. That was great. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, my you guys, you guys got to go? Yeah. No, All right. Our guys are going to carry on a little bit longer. Just give them uh, the mats a little white before you yep. go in there if you, if you can. Yep. If not, I think the spray ball is on the cart. Yeah, you can leave them right on the cart. Okay. Awesome. Everything's going to be real quick. I'm going to buy you. All right. My guys, we're going to do some balance now. Hey, uh, Mr. T uh, O'Keefe's kids, if you ever want to join any of my workouts or any of that, just let me know. Because I'm going to be doing, when winter hits, I'll probably be doing after school yoga. Okay, after I finish volleyball with my awesome girls. Okay. Everybody grab a spot on the back part of their mat. We're going to do my favorite one. We're going to work those legs again. Lexi, left or right? Left. Left, thank you. Okay, so that means I'm going to stand on my left first. Okay, we've all done this one a few times called tree. Okay, let's do tree by locking arms first. Take your right leg and bring it in front of you like that. Take your toes and point them up to the sky. Lock that leg. Feel that leg right now. If that leg feels flabby, you ain't doing it right. Take that right leg, move it to the side. Curl it up. Everybody go up into a tree. Count down from 30. Loud. Go. 30. What? 23. Come on, Colton. 21. 20. 20. Louder. 18. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 11. 12. 12. Loud. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. I never fell. Did you? Who fell? They stop bullying me. I'm going again. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Aha! Okay. Balance. I'm starting right now. I want you to think about the stretch. All right. Now we got to do the other foot. Oh, my favorite foot. Right, Haley? How many kids are weaker on the right side than they are on the left? Put your hands up. I actually am, even though this is my power leg. For some reason, I have horrible balance on my right side. Are you right or left headed? 
right bike, you just stand on this leg and jump. Yeah, yeah, you're like, you're, so you're like me. So Colton and I share the same sort of problem. But it's not bad, it's getting better. Okay, lock those arms out, kitties. I can't, I'm dead. Lift that front left leg out, tighten it up. Feel that left leg, is it tight? If it ain't, you ain't doing it right. Okay, move it to the side, bring it into a tree. Take your arms, 30 second countdown, go. Louder! Come on, I can't hear you, Arshin! 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put your left hand high in the air. Put your right hand down here like that. Get ready to give yourself three self high fives. Ready? One, two, three. And point to somebody that is awesome in this class right now. Point to somebody in this class that is awesome and say, I see you, you're awesome. London, who do you think is awesome? Can't pick Mr. Hurley, I'm not awesome. Tyler. Yeah, sure. Somebody there, yeah, all right. Okay, so that's awesome, guys. We're gonna do a little bit more, and then I'll let you guys play around. Maybe I'll even let you guys try the badminton rackets. Okay, so everybody go to the back of their mat again. We're gonna go down to the down dog. And then from down dog, we're gonna do some stretches on the bottom of the mat. Okay, so everybody lock your legs out. Feel your legs, Brandon. That's the test. A little wider there. Bellies. Ooh, my belly. Colton, where's your belly? There it is. Davian's got it there. That a boy, Memphis. Lock that into a diamond cutter. Inhale up. Open it all the way up and slowly come down. Hush, hush to yourself. No, no. Ah Make it up five times. Oh. Help me, Colton. Oh. Help me. Please. I'm sorry. I fell five okay, times. Slowly drop your knees to the mat. Bring your body, everybody. Say safety zone. Safety zone. Here we go. And slowly bring your body forward into a beautiful cobra stretch, also known as a lion tamer, or in some cases I call it a tamer. I love the lion tamer stretch. Especially for your belly buttons. Your abs. You have like a million, I have like a million, everyone here has like Okay, now everybody lay down flat on their tummy like that and put your hands in front of you like this. Everybody set their hands there. Now, with your heels, with your heels, I want you to bring your heels off the mat, bend your legs so they're nice and tight. Try to bring them right down to your bum and hold as far down as you can reach. Now hold, oh my God, my cat, my hammies are so tight. I can't even do that properly. And hold. Try not to put your feet together like that though, uh, really, that'll go. Dangerous. And hold. <laughs> now, put your two hands on either side of your shoulders and slowly push up. And hold now, hold. Look down at the grass, don't look up because it's gonna put strain on your neck, right? Now, take your toes without going forward and drive your toes into the mat and get ready to push up into a plank. Ready? Push up into a high oh, plank. I'm a queen at planks. Oh, I'm not a queen at these ones. <laughs> look down. Don't I'm, look up. I'm, you can call I me queen I thought we were gonna do it on a table like this. <laughs> I, I can, can do a plank. I can. Or I'm dying. Slowly from this position, Eight take hours. your right leg and bring it forward like that. Oh. And take your left leg and put it in behind that lat, right knee. I can plank so like this. Oh, uh, no, I'm You're gonna good? die as well. Okay. Now, reach forward. That's it. If you guys play rugby ah! or basketball, you'll know this stretch. And you're gonna go back, put your elbows down, and just go back and relax. 
and hold. So bloody cool. This is some nice easy stuff. I can do this on my head. Alright, don't move. Keep the chatter down. Remember, you're on camera. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Dab, 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 dab. Tyler, you've been on camera the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Okay, put your hands back down again and switch legs so that your left leg is in front of the right knee and again, come back and hold. This side's a little deeper for Mr. Hurley. And hold. I just heard the bee flying by my ear. A bee? You did? A bee? That's a bee? A bee, 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 I, you know, I hate, I'm, I have, a, I'm, that's like one of my only things, I'm scared of bees. Not wasp, wasps are dumb and stupid and not. Okay, everybody keep your knees up like this. Sit on your heels. That's so uncomfortable. How is that comfortable? I know, it, it hurts my feet. Remember, you make it comfortable for yourself, Arjun, if it's uncomfortable. Can we do another game of everybody's Okay, so with your front hands, we're going to go up like this. Everybody's up. You're going to take your left foot, put it forward. Ow. Okay, now this one's going to be a little bit harder for some kids. You're going to take your right hand, bring it in by your left ankle. There's my left ankle. And I'm going to take my right hand and turn it so that it's facing the sky. And this one's really tough for balance, so watch yourself careful. And hold, 10 seconds. Count it. Can't hear you. Count it. Slowly come back down. Bring that left leg back. Bring your right leg forward. Watch your balance. Oh, I'm not gonna balance. Everybody's there. Uh, okay. Now I, I want you to take your left hand and put it by your right ankle. There's my left hand. There's my right ankle. Take that right arm. Uh oh. And look up. All the way up. And all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. And hold. If you can't do it, go in the safety. Oh! Tyler. I never expect my seventh time falling. Well, then when you fall, just go like this instead of go like. And slowly come back. Take that right hand of that right and bring it back like this. All right, we're gonna go down on our bums and we're gonna try a upside down bridge. We're gonna do a bridge. You know they were bridge legs. Yeah, I love oh, I love I'm a queen at those. Can I hold? I love you. I like when you said that. I can't. Tyler, Tyler, look at this early. Can you take your mat and go to the very back? You make too much noise and distraction for others unless you can be quiet. You can't make yourself look like a clown on TV, right? Because people can hear you now. And they're wondering, what is wrong with that kid? Did Mr. Hurley shoot him or what? All right, so in this position here, I'm gonna lay down flat on the mat. Now I can't do a bridge. How many kids can do a bridge and hold it for 30 seconds? Yeah, Adeline, Tess, Colton, really good for you, buddy. Talana, a little bit, Haley. Okay, the rest of us, Isaiah, good for you, bud. Okay, the rest of us, I go back like this, put my hands back here, and I'm going to lift my hip points to the ceiling. Everybody else, we're going to count down from 30. Are we ready? Going up in 3, 2, 1, lift. And count down from 30. It's Can't hear you. Can't hold the bridge for 30 seconds. Can't hear you. Nobody's count. We'll do this all day. Can't hear anybody count. I'll just stay here. I thought I might have one awesome kid that might count, but I guess not. What are we counting down to? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
Yeah, everybody shoot up into it. Butterfly. Butterfly. Another one of my personal favorites. The butterfly. How are we doing for time? We're good. Can we do a everybody it take? Well, I was going to say, if you guys were a well-receptive, very polite, Can engaging group, I would have given you that for take? sure. But when only, I'd say, 60% of the kids are putting in an honest effort, it's pretty tough for the teacher to reward you when you guys are not rewarding yourself. Because I wanted that. Makes sense? Everyone do it. Probably not. See, at the end of the day, zeros are easy for me to type in because what I do is I just look at somebody's mark and say, well, they didn't really do anything today. They didn't do anything positive today for themselves. Not for me, for themselves. I don't care what you guys do for me. I just get you guys to mark yourself. Somebody's got to be accountable. Okay, so take your left foot, bring it forward, bring your right leg in here like that. Now, I cannot grab my hands like that and put my head to the, my gear. I am horrible when it comes to flexibility. I used to. Uh, but I do like it when I can see kids do it. Put your foot on the outside here, Haley. I did. Yeah. Okay, so Tess, keep your leg down, girl. Okay, now go down. Put your, what I like to do is put one hand above my quad, the other hand above uh, behind my calf, and I just go down slowly, keep this knee down, and hold. 10 seconds, count it up. Three, two, three, I can't. Three, I can't get eight, anywhere. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Bring that leg up now. Bring that leg up, let it relax. Let it relax. Perfect. Now, take this knee and tuck it underneath. Take this foot and put it over top of that knee. Looks like this. Whoa. Whoa. Now, if you're really, really flexible, which I can't, you're gonna take your right arm, go through this leg and grab that ankle. Okay, so it would look something like this except for if that would be on the other side here. That's called a pretzel. So your foot goes here, your right ah! arm, you're gonna put your right arm in the air, ah! put it through your leg, behind that knee, and grab that ankle. Let's see if anybody can do it. It's called a pretzel. Close, Amy. The Lana can do it. Like that? Can you do it for demonstrating? Am I doing it? I'm not sure if you got the right book there. Nope, that's wrong. Wrong. me. How do you do it? Can you do Okay, let's try it again. Everybody put both their legs out like this. Take it. your right leg. Everybody know the right hey, leg? Tuck it in like that. So this is my right leg. Take your left foot. There's my right knee. <laughs> Put your left foot over top of your right knee. Oh, that hurts. So everybody got that? Yeah. Now, where's your right hand? There's okay. mine. The left hand does nothing in this one. Oh, okay? So everybody just don't worry about the left. You can hang on to this foot. <laughs> Take that right hand now. Go over top of the right knee and then down and then in and grab your ankle. Go. Like, like, like this? Hold on. Yay. So Easy. Colt and I are both the same. Oh, Talana could do it. There are some kids that could do it. I did nope. it. I did it. Nope. Flip me over. Ah, there. Flip I did me over. It. Left leg, right knee, right oh, arm. Through. And then down and in. in. Nope. Is there really Wait, can you do it slower? Uh, they said that like five times. Okay. Him? Sorry. Nice try, though. Okay, now let's switch sides. Okay? So take this right leg, put this one forward now, point it up to the sky, take this one, bring it in, and again, put your left hand on your quad. That's my quad. Put your left or your right hand underneath my cab, and then I want you to pull down as comfortably. Don't bend this knee. Don't bend your knee. Let's try to go down and hold. <laughs> 10 seconds. Go. Can't hear your 10 seconds. Eight, four, five, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one. And now relax that leg. Relax that leg. Relax that leg. Okay, you ready for the other side pretzel? This is my worst side. Okay, so I'm going to bring my left knee in. So everybody's got their left knee bent. This is your left leg. Okay, you, you should know the difference between your left and right. Take that right foot. Everybody tap the right foot. Right foot. Tap your right foot, Anna. Is that your right? Are you sure? Take that right foot and lift it over top of your left knee. Oh boy, that's a real brain twister there, eh? Now, this is my left arm, Tyler. It's gotta go through here, down, and then I've gotta grab that somehow. So this is what it looks like, Tess. I know. Ah, you, 
could see that I'm about the same as Colt. I can do it. Now, some kids can go all the way through there and grab. Can you do that? Talana can do it. Everybody look at Talana because she's the only one. Looks like Kira's doing it. Should be your left now, kiddo. Are you doing that there in London? You gotta go on the other side of your knee, though. You gotta go on the other side, out opposite side of your knee. Which hand are we grabbing with? Yeah, no. Where's your left arm? Is that your left? Yeah, take your left arm, look at me, and go put your elbow inside the right. Inside. Inside. Give it another hand. The other hand, get rid of it. Opposite side. Now go through. Shoot me! Kill me! I can't do it. It's all right if you can't do it. No. I can, I can kind of do it. Not really. Okay, everybody, let's up. Tessa. Everybody come back up in a comfort position. No. Put it, okay, just keep it over your head. Wait. I'm just looking to see which kids are listening right now. Actually, I don't have one. Memphis is listening to me. Memphis, you get an extra 10. Isaiah is. London is. Haley is. Tess is not. Kira's not. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys something new. Some of you guys may have heard of this before. You cannot talk, you cannot whisper, and you cannot move. It's called meditating. Okay, so when you meditate, you're actually breathing. So we're actually going to call it breathing. Okay, I'm going to set my watch on here for one minute. And all you're going to do is I want you guys to cross your legs like this. Sit up, please, Tyler. Just cross applesauce. Everyone can do that. If they and everybody, get have your back so it's nice and relaxed. Now, the most important thing when you're breathing is to not have any moving body parts. Okay, so if you're going to be playing with your fingers, picking the grass, wiggling your knees, this is going to be useless. Because if you do this properly, even for one minute, because I do this a lot, you can actually block out everything that's around you and then for a millisecond, a microsecond, you actually don't know where you are. And I've had kids that have reached that point before with me. And again, at the higher level, sometimes we do this for five minutes. You have to close your eyes, which for some kids is really intimidating because they think somebody else is looking at them, so they're embarrassed, okay? That's the other thing you gotta look for um, to drop. If anybody did that in the class, that's my job. I'll take care of those kids that are trying to make you feel bad, all right? Your job is to listen to my rules, okay? My rules are close your eyes, don't have any bo moving body parts. I will tell you when to open up your eyes and relax, okay? Can we try that for one minute? Yeah. Can we do her? So everybody's gonna be like this. Okay, now put your hands so they're not gonna move. Get ready to close your eyes. your eyes in five, four, three, two, and close your eyes. You guys were excellent. So that last part there, you guys get a little bit of reward time. So for 15 minutes, if you guys want to set up, there are some extra cones way over there. Um, if, if, I think it's if you said Tessa's group can, if you guys can take some cones and set up like a 20 by 20 grid, if they can play below the knee peg inside it. Okay. What I mean by 20 by 20 is that you take 20 steps one way, 20 steps another way, 20 steps another way, and you make a little square box. 
so that the kids can all go inside can and you can go boys versus girls, team versus team, or everybody's gay, okay? Everybody. So if you wish to do that, you can do that right now. Uh, tomorrow we are golfing. Go set it up way out there, okay, though, Keenan? Or you can Mom, go on that grass golfing? over there, I don't care. Where do you want to go on the soft you grass over there? You guys Actually, pick, you're the, um, you guys are in go, charge of that. Go on this grass, that yeah. grass is wet. There you go, well done. All right, put your shoes back on. If you have a yoga mat, roll it up, put it over here. We'll put it away at the end of class. Roll up your yoga mat right now. Well, Yana and Keenan and Tess and whoever else is on Tess's team and the rest of you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.